What's up guys and welcome to another tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to make a database and a search button for this database in Visual Basic using Visual Studio 2015. So first of all you're going to right click on the project name here in the Solution Explorer and choose add and then choose new item and then we're going to choose service based database and click add once the database is added right here we're going to double click on it and then here in the server explorer we can see our database here and the tables here so we actually now have no tables so we're going to add a new table so right click on tables and click add new table okay so now we're going to add our tables attributes so the first attribute is gonna be the ID and it's an integer and we're going to its properties and make it like auto increment so we're gonna expand this identity specification and from its identity we're gonna choose true and here we go we're gonna add also first name we're gonna make it varchar50 we're gonna add last name varchar50 we're gonna add the age make it integer and maybe the email and make it also varchar50 here we go so after adding all the attributes we want in this table we're going to click on the update button right here and then choose update database okay so it's now done updating our database so what you're gonna wanna do next is go to your form and then click on the data sources and we're gonna add a new data source and we're gonna choose the database click next next and from here we're gonna choose our database so it's chosen by default click next next and then we're gonna choose the tables that we want to include in this data source so we want to include our table which is table so we're gonna click finish and here we go so this is our table and it is in the data grid view we can choose the details view and the ID we can make it a label not a text box as we are not going to edit it okay so we're going to drag this and drop it right here in our form and here we go and also we can add the details the I mean the data grid view also so we're gonna drag it and drop it right here here we go so now we are done with the database so we want to make our search button so we can add a text box for the search here in this uh, tool strip menu so I'll be adding first a separator then a text box and I'm gonna double click on this text box and from the events here I'm gonna choose text changed so whenever the text of this text box changes the search is executed so what you're gonna wanna do is type table binding source dot filter equals and we wanna make the search query or the filter for our first name so we're gonna type if name space like space and then a single quote and after this double quotations we're gonna type plus and then the text of the tool strip text box one so tool strip text box one the text then plus and between the double quotations we are going to type a percentage sign and then a single quote and we should be good to go let's test our program now 
All right, so we're gonna add a new record. First name Basil. Small age twenty. Let's save this. Let's add a new record. Age um, twenty-five. And let's save this. And let's try to search for Basil. Okay. Muhammad. Okay. So I guess that's it, guys, for this tutorial. And thanks a lot for watching. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thank you. Catch you in the next tutorial.